This is a, an attempt to replicate Joseph Newman's work. It has just one coil uh, using AWG28 and it eats almost 7 pounds. I'm using Arduino Uno to control it. And there is a rotary encoder inside that uh, looks like this one. This is an early prototype. And there is a, a laser diode and a laser receiver as well. Uh, I'm using this to find out the current rotation of the magnets of the rotor. There, there is also an LCD panel uh, with some information about the current RPM angle and the amount of uh, decoding errors. I'm using an H bridge to control uh, that, that's controlled by some red relays so I can activate and deactivate the coil. Uh, in the right rotation. This is the circuit that I'm using to drive the coil. I'm using an edge bridge with, with some red relays and this edge bridge is activated by for some milliseconds and after this activation there is this second phase that there is a short circuit in the coil using um, other red relays. Uh, this is all controlled by a program that I wrote in Arduino. And this part here is responsible to control the circuit to control the, the laser diode and laser receiver that is necessary to determine the current rotation. This is used with the Hotarvi encoder wheel. I'm going to rotate it to show the information being updated in the LCD. Uh, the battery is current disconnected. Now the information is being updated. There were there were some errors in the beginning, but now it's stopping. Now it's almost stopped. Some encoding errors is occurring because it's not rotating properly now. Now it has stopped. Now the six batteries are connected. I have uh, something above uh, 50, 54 volts. And so, the uh, perimeter is connected as well. So let's begin. Now it's working. As you can see here, I'm having a lot of errors. Uh, it's occurring because there is there are a lot of inter electromagnetic interference from the from the coil in the Arduino. So Arduino is not uh, working properly because of this. Uh, this ne neon bulb is showing some more the short the coil being shorted the energy that I'm getting from the coil being shorted and here the perimeter is showing the current uh, uh, consumption um, amps consumption so it's mil milliamps actually so you can see there is a the negative value is appearing a lot so this is this is some of, uh, it's a good result that uh, I'm having with this coil, this unit. Mm, it's 
it's still getting a lot of errors because of the interference but it's working very well and this is the what I'm getting from the oscilloscope let me change here as you can see there are both positive and negative peaks and let me stop here this negative peaks in, uh, shows that energy is being uh, amps is being uh, uh, drawn from the batteries and the positive peak uh, shows that uh, some some amps is going back to the battery I have here more negative peaks than positive ones. Oh, here. It's oscillated a little, it's not a uh, uniform distribution. But it's probably because my, my controller is being affected by the coil, so it's not uh, working properly. Well, and that's it for now. It's uh, I have made a, a good progress with this. Uh, I hope that I can build a well a larger machine or use more, much more copper in the next coil. But I can see that I'm having a very good result. That's it.